Hey guys, what's going on? It is Andy Elliott. This video is going to be a video you've never seen before in your life, and it is going to talk about what happens when a salesperson leaves the office and leaves the customer all by themselves. If you can't close on a first pencil and you roll out because you're not good at what you do, I want to show you what's happening in that office. Check it out. All right, guys, so here we go. So this is a video right here that you need to understand that the next pay raise, the next career mind-blowing paycheck you're going to get in your life is going to come from you learning how to do what? Close the deal and not run back to your manager. Listen, everybody right now in the automotive industry, this is what I see. Salesman goes out. Price is too high, payment's too high, interest rate's too high, numbers are too high, not getting enough for their trade in. You know what they do? Daddy, save me! And they run back to the old tower. You guys watching this right now, you're like, dang, dude, how do you know that was me? Man, that's those people, that's that guy. Listen, if you right now, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, Andy, I don't have that problem because I'm a closer. Well, I'll know that you're a closer by you going in and closing your own deal, which means you don't have to run out. Can I ask you a question? What value is it to get up out of the office and walk back to the manager and say, they're not going to do this? He's going to say, well, what will they do then? Am I right? Now, I understand that there are such things as a commitment and you're gonna walk out and go make sure that you can get it okayed and then go back in. But most of the time, most, I see salespeople go in, give a presentation, and then the customer goes, what's the interest rate? Something like that, or, or, or are you saying I can't get a better rate? Or what's your best price? That's even a better one, what's your best price? I, I need more for my trade. And then you know what happens? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. The salesman goes, what? And they stand up. And what do they do? Walk back to the desk. And then what do they say? He wants more for his trade-in. You know what the manager says? Well, who's getting paid the commission on the deal, right? And then he's gonna say, I am, but I, I don't know what to do. Well, can I ask you a question? Have you been training with Andy Elliott? No, I just spend the day watching TikTok all day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's why you ain't closing nothing and you ain't a closer. So I'm gonna teach you right now why you must learn to become a closer, okay? and why I don't want you to leave the office unless you have a solid commitment, you and the customer are good, and everything's great. Because every time you leave, you and the customer disconnect. Can I ask you a question? Whose job is it to give the customer the courage to say yes? Whose job is that? That's your job. And when you're not present and you're absent because you're at the tower, because you haven't been training and you're not in the office, then that doesn't exist. And then the courage is gone. You feel me? So what happens in this office? Well, number one, when I've been with you for two hours, I'm just gonna give you an example, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy, man. Hey, today we're gonna give you world-class customer service, serve you in all the highest levels that are important to you and your family. You guys are amazing. Where'd you drive from today? Man, I'm on fire. I'm gonna sell me a car today. Man, I'll treat you good. Go land you on a car. Do a world-class walk around. Feel the will, seals the deal. Man, I'm having fun. Then I go right up the deal. Now I'm going in, bringing in a pencil, which is way higher than you want to be, which, because cars are freaking really expensive now, right? And I've never seen anybody saying, I hope they can keep me under 3,000 a month. No, people are like, I want to be 300 a month, right? So guess what happens? You got to bring these numbers in and educate. Could you imagine you have to educate people and close people on numbers? That's why we pay you. And by the way, I'm not being sarcastic. I just want you to understand what your job is and why you have the ability to make a half a million a year if you do a good job. And if you're not making that kind of money, then maybe you're, you need to train a little more, right? But when you go in and you go to present these numbers, they're going to have objections. Like, I want you to know right now, they're going to have objections. They're going to need to work through things. Can I ask a question? Whose job is it to work through the things with? That's your job, okay? And if it's not you, then who? 
Who, who is it they're supposed to be working this out with? Your manager? Can I ask you a question? Can we give him a break and let him be a leader for a minute instead of babysitting you all day long? Right? Like if he wasn't babysitting everybody, he could actually be a better leader and probably get you guys more leads because he wouldn't be doing your job. I need you to understand the power of being able to do everything on your own, okay? That's what this is about. It's called being a master, okay? It's called mastery, like Kobe Bryant mastered basketball. We're going to master closing and selling and influencing and connecting with people. But also, this is just common sense, that I've been the right person for you the whole time. But literally within 30 seconds, I'm going to come show you some numbers and you're going to say, Andy, I'm not paying that price. I'm going to trigger something. You're going to get triggered. And then guess what happens? I stand up and I leave the office, which shows that I'm not prepared to take care of you. So what I want you to do is that when you go in there, I need you to understand this. Get knee to knee, explain everything to them. Whatever problems they have, say, hey, number one, listen guys, I've been doing this for a long time. I got the can do, will do attitude. We are going to work it out, no problem, easy peasy. I got you guys, okay? Listen, you're gonna get back in that deal and you're gonna work it out with them. As you're building value in all of those areas, guess what? The client is going to go in the direction you wanna go because you stay in control, because you've trained for that environment. But if you haven't, and they say, well, Andy, what's your best price? And I said, well, I don't know. Let me go talk to my manager. You know, you know we, and they're like, can I get a better deal? And you're like, oh, I don't know. Let me go talk to my manager. Hey, I need more for my trade. And you're like, oh my gosh, how much more? Like saying the most stupidest thing in the world. And then they're like, I have 15 grand. You're like, I can't give you 15 grand. And they're like, I need 14 grand. And you're like, give me a minute. <laughs> and then you get up. What's happened the last two hours, all the value you built in yourself is gone in one second. One second, it's all gone. So what happens? You walk out of the office, the wife looks at the husband and she goes, this is why I hate buying cars. And he goes, God, man, I thought it was gonna be easier than this. You know, we did our research, we checked everything out, we came into the store, and you know what? You're letting them down because you didn't train and because you're not a closer. So if you don't learn to close, what's gonna happen is that you're literally gonna take pencils in or proposals in, the clients are gonna say no, you're gonna stand up and walk out. So literally, instead of enabling them to make a decision and giving them the confidence and strategizing with them and working it out with them and getting it handled, you leave the office and what do they do? They just talk crap on you the whole time. Why? Because you're not prepared. It's that simple. Okay, think about it. Are you an expert, yes or no? I know it says sales advisor, it says trusted advisor, it says sales consultant. Are you really a consultant for the space? Can you really consult people? I mean, when people, you may say, well, Andy, I'm not the manager. Can I ask you a question? Common sense is people need someone to sit with them and work things out with, okay? That's your job. That's your job to work things out with people. Well, the question is, are you working anything out with them? Or are you going to get your manager? Okay, your manager, if it's his job to, to work everything out with everybody, then what are you for? To go test drive cars? To get keys out of the key track? To shake hands like a greeter? Go get a Walmart job and put an orange vest on. You're a closer, start acting like it. Every time you walk out of the office, every time, there's a very good chance that that client is gonna come become disconnected with the dealership and you at that point. Number two, they're going to doubt the experience and the process because you left them. They don't need to be unattended, okay? And then lastly, there's a pretty good chance they're going to get on their cell phone and start looking at other dealerships and looking stuff up, okay? Are those things that you want them to do? No. Well, then what's the only way you can ensure that they don't? Do you think when you walk out of the office, the wife goes, oh, honey, oh, I hope he comes back with the better payment. No, they say, honey, I, I don't know about you, but if he comes back in here and again and we're not getting what we want, we're leaving. And then guess what? You gave them a chance to make an ultimatum together without you around. Listen, I wanna tell you something. What do people do under pressure? Make emotional decisions, okay? They don't wanna leave, but whenever there's money involved and they need to help and you're not there to help them, then they make emotional decisions and those were things that you caused them to do that they didn't even wanna do. But because you weren't a pro and you're an amateur, that happened. Okay, now listen to me, I love you guys. I got your back for life. I'm trying to explain what happens when the salesperson leaves the office. 
don't leave the office. Now, the only way that I am okay with you leaving is like this. Okay, you got a fifteen thousand dollar vehicle. I'm just giving an example, and uh, let's say there's a five thousand dollar trade, right? Let's say that's the price, and then let's say the payment's going to be three hundred dollars a month. The only thing I'm okay with you doing is if the guy's like, hey, Andy, listen, man, I, I, I like everything you're doing. Here's, I got to have 5,500 for the trade, man. If I don't have 5,500 for the trade, I can't do the deal. And I go into my overcoming objection handling. I defend the pencil. I write out on the back side of my worksheet how we've arrived at the top value. And the guy's like, Andy, I just, I got to have the 55, man. You know what? Give me just a second, okay? You know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to write the old 5,500 right here. Okay, I'm going to sign off on that me and you had a conversation that this is going to work, this is going to work, but we need to change this. And if we can make this happen, Mr. Johnson right here, I'm just going to need that old. <laughs> and then guess what? I'm going to go talk to my manager who I have a very good relationship with. And I told him you guys are the best customers I ever had in my life. I'm going to go talk to him and see if I can get this handled. Is that fair? Guys, appreciate you. Go ahead and sign there. I'll be right back. Okay, now listen to me while I'm gone, right? You're going to show mama some love. Tell her how good of a job I've been treating you guys, right? Okay, cool. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I got your back for life. By the way, I'm not going to say one car. I'm going to say you 31 cars. Appreciate you guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make sure that they're in a good state and this is them. And then when I go to the desk, everybody do me a favor. Time kills deals. I got one to two minutes max. Dude, I mean this. I watch salesmen get up from work at a deal and go in their manager's tower and goof off for 15 freaking minutes. Dude, I'd be pissed if I was a customer. Okay? What is your job? Be laser focused. I got to get this damn deal signed up and get them in a finance office. So you know what? I go to my manager and say, hey, guy, listen to me. I need you to know I went through the whole deal. Woo, backside of the piece of paper. See all this? Ran through A to Z. We got two options right now. Number one, we're going to split the difference. I'm going back for 52.50, okay? Or, or I'm going to hold firm at five grand and say I tried. Or we're going to okay 5,500. Or you can walk in there for 30 seconds, see if you can get the whole deal. Whatever it is, we got to make a move. We got to make a decision. We got to get this deal rolled up, man. I got a lot more cars to sell today, and I got to finish this one up. Let's go. And guess what? We're going to make a decision, and we're going to close that client. We're going to get them in the box. Okay? We're going to move on to the next deal. And you know what? We're going to show them great customer service. We're going to treat them great. We're going to go sell more cars. Okay? That's what I need you to know is every time you leave the office, this is what happens. Make sure that you master this business. So mastery is the only thing that matters. So I love you guys. I got your back for life. I hope this helps you guys. And you really think in the moment, next time you're going to leave, you're like, dang, man, I need to train harder. I need to not come out of those offices. I need to make sure I close everybody in those offices. Plus, do it in a timely manner, okay? Don't stay in there for 45 minutes. Get in there, get it closed down, show them some love, make sure you make everything make sense, be the trust advisor, and wrap them up. If you guys are watching this right now, this is important. You've made it this far in the video. That means you're the true one percenters. That means that you're ready to learn. There's an old saying that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Well, here's what I want to tell you. Guys, I've got thousands of closes. I've got, I'm a, I'm a wealth, I'm a bank of knowledge. I've studied for 25 freaking years, two and a half decades, learning how to close anybody, anytime, anyplace, okay? I've created a training program called Project 500. It's how, that's how salespeople can earn a half a million a year selling cars. You know, my last year selling cars, I made 716 grand, okay? So teaching you to make a half a million, it's easy. But I need your mind, I need you to commit. There's mindset, skill set, and habits that you're gonna have to know how to do it. I teach all these in my training called Project 500. I would love to show you how to make half a million a year. If you would like information on Project 500 and you're ready to level up, I want you to text me, Andy, I'm ready to level up. Give me information on Project 500. I'd love to personally reach out and talk to you. My personal cell phone is 918 210 0254. Write that down. 918-210-0254. Take the time. Shoot me a text message right now. Love to help you crush it and kill it. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.